All right, in this clip, we're gonna look at the parameterization of a sphere. It's actually where the uh, spherical coordinates come from. You can think of this as the derivation of the spherical coordinates. So we're gonna start off with a semicircle like this and look at the coordinates here. So if I've uh, got an angle of phi coming down from the vertical, so I'm looking at this point right here, then um, I can look at the uh, coordinates. So coordinate coming down, and the coordinate going across. And let's see, so this is um, going to be, if the, oh, I forgot to say that this is a sphere of radius A. And so the difference between this and spherical coordinates is that we'll just have one fixed value of, of the radius A, rather than a whole interval's worth of values for the radius. So the upper coordinate is gonna be uh, A, cosine phi, that's this one, and then the uh, coordinate down below is going to be a sine phi, like so. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put it into 3D, like this, and so there's that same blue section, right, and so um, if we've got some point up here so there's our point that we're looking at and there's our phi that we're interested in and so now let's see what we need to do is take the uh, projection of this point to the two axes so um, let's see so if I project this coordinate this way and this way then we would get that this is, um, uh, so this is, by the way, this is a our angle here, this is theta. So then for this point on the, on the horizontal, this would be a cosine theta, and this one would be a sine theta. And now we do the same uh, projections of that point up above. So this one, remember, starts off as a uh, sine phi, so that's that's how far we are from the axis this way. And so then when we uh, project it, let's see, so we're gonna project it this way, and then also project it this way. And so we've got over here, we've got um, a sine phi, cosine theta because we're projecting in the to the cosine theta direction and the other one over here is going to be a sine phi and then this is in the sine theta that's the sine theta projection over there okay so putting all this together if we take a sigma of uh, phi theta to be um, a times and then we have sine phi cosine theta, sine phi sine theta, and then uh, cosine phi, then that will give us for uh, phi between zero and pi and theta between zero and two pi, as usual, then that will give us the spherical shell of radius A. And you can see that if we fix a value of uh, phi, then it's going to draw out like a latitude um, on the surface of the sphere. And if we fix a value of theta, as we have in the picture, then that's gonna draw like a longitudinal meridian on the sphere.